Good day, learners. Welcome to our day one. Sources of sound. Sound mystery game. What sound is this? Every day, we hear many different sounds. Today, we will learn where these sounds come from. What is sound? Sound is something we hear. It is made when something vibrates or moves back and forth. We hear sound using our ears. Sources of sounds. People. People speaking, singing, laughing, shouting. Objects that ring. Examples. Bells school bells, and alarm clocks. Machines or tools like electric fans, tricycle or car engines, blender, and washing machine. Musical instruments like drums, guitar, piano, violin. How do they make sound? Voice, vocal cords vibrates. Bell makes sounds when metal parts vibrates. Machines make sounds when motors and parts vibrate. Guitar makes sounds when strings vibrate. Skyler's busy morning. Skyler woke up early in the morning. She first heard the alarm clock ringing beside her bed. When she went outside, she heard her father's motorcycle engine starting. On her way to school, she listened to children laughing, dogs barking, and a car horn honking. When Skylar reached school, the school bell rang telling everyone to go inside. Inside a classroom, her teacher played the triangle instrument to begin the lesson. Skylar smiled. There are so many sounds around me, she said. What was the first sound Skylar heard? What sound did her father make when he was outside? What sounds did Skylar hear on her way to school? Give two. What sound told Skylar? that it was time to go inside the school. What musical instrument 
did the teacher use? Always remember, sound is everywhere. It comes from people, animals, machines, objects, and instruments. Anything that vibrates makes a sound. Let's try this. Choose the correct answer. Sound is made when something which is a sound made by people. Which object produces sound by ringing? Which is a musical instrument? The sound vroom vroom usually comes from a... Let's try this. Match column A to column B. Welcome to our day two. How sound is produced? Imitate the following object's sound. Today, we will learn how different objects produce sound and what makes the sound happen. What is sound? Sound is something we hear. It happens when something vibrates or moves back and forth quickly. How do objects produce sound? Bell. When the bell is shaken or struck, the metal vibrates, producing sound. Ruler. When a ruler is placed on the edge of a table and blocked, it moves up and down, creating vibration and sound. Guitar. Strings vibrate when plucked. Flute. Air vibrates inside when blown. Drum. The drum skin vibrates when heat. All sounds come from vibration. If there is no vibration, there is no sound. Mia's sound experiment. Mia brought a small bell, a wooden ruler, and a toy drum to school. During science time, her teacher said, Let's find out how objects make sound. Mia shook the bell and heard a clear cling cling. Then she placed the ruler at the edge of her desk and flicked it. The ruler moved quickly and made a twang twang sound. Finally, she tapped the drum. The drum skin vibrated and made a loud boom, boom. Mia smiled. Now I know that these objects make sound because they all vibrate, she said. What three objects did Mia bring to school? 
What sound did the bell make? What happened to the ruler when Mia flicked it? What vibrated when Mia tapped the drum? What did Mia learn at the end of the experiment? How do objects produce sound? By shaking, by heating, by plucking, and by blowing. Sound is produced by vibrations. We can make sound by shaking, heating, plucking, or blowing different objects. Let's try this. Choose the letter of the correct answer. What makes sound? Which object makes sound when you shake it? What happens to a guitar string when you pluck it? Which object produces sound by being heat? If there is no vibration, there will be... Let's try this. Draw one object each that can produce sounds when they are shaken, blocked, heat, or blown. Welcome to our day three. How sound travels. Follow the sound. What sound is this? Today, we will learn how sound travels and how we hear it. What is a sound source? The sound source is where the sound starts. Example, <coughs> bell, drum, guitar, voice. How sound travels? When something vibrates, it makes sound waves. These sound waves travel through materials like air, water, or solid. How sound reaches our ears. A sound source vibrates. These vibrations move through air as sound waves. The sound waves reach our ears. Inside our ears, the sound waves make our eardrum vibrate. Our brain understands the sound. Sound cannot move by itself. It travels through something, usually air. How does sound travel? Sound travels from the source, through air or another material, and then to our ears. Let's try this. Choose the letter of the correct answer. 
where the sound come from? What helps sound travel to our ears? Sound travels mostly through What happens to our eardrum when sound reaches it? When a bell rings, the sound goes from the bell to... Let's try this. The cup and string telephone. Materials needed. Steps. Welcome to our day four. Loud and soft sounds. Which one is louder? Today, we will learn what makes sounds loud or soft. What is loudness? Loudness tells us how strong or weak a sound is. Loud sound is equals easy to hear. Soft sound is quiet. Factors that affects loudness. Strength of vibration. Strong vibration is equivalent to loud sound. Weak vibration is equals to soft sound. Example, heating a drum hard is loud. Heating a drum gently is soft. Distance from the sound source. If you are closer to the sound, the sound is louder. If further from the sound, the sound is softer. Example, a barking dog near you is loud. A barking dog far away is soft. Force applied. The harder you hit, shake, or blow an object, the louder the sound. The softer you hit, shake, or blow, the softer the sound. Example, blowing a whistle strongly is loud. Blowing gently is soft. Loud sounds come from strong vibrations. Soft sounds come from weak vibrations. Let's try this. Choose the correct answer. A loud sound comes from a... When you hit a drum very softly... The sound will be. If you go closer to a ringing bell, the sound will be. What happens when you blow a whistle with more force? Which factor affects loudness? Let's try this. Write true if the statement is correct and false if it's not. Thank you for watching. See you next science lesson. Goodbye.